Matt, we're talking about Godzilla today. We are! Holy shit! Get the fuck out! Blah, 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 blah. Simon says, get the. I'm sorry. So, we're going to be looking at box art from Samoa yep. Joe. Uh, he's had a lot of box <laughs> art throughout the years. But no, uh, we're doing a kind of a special uh, box art critique. Um, but it's really similar because most Godzilla game box art is just reused poster box art. Okay. Now, I'm really unfamiliar with this territory. No, you're not. Uh, well, you know what? Peripherally, at this point, I'm sure I can point out some of the different fins just by being next to you yeah, yeah, for the you, last couple of years. You can feel my nerd knowledge <laughs> kind of walking Seeping on. over. But I'm going to need you to guide my giant lizardy it's, hips. But it's not more like that because I've uh, got a collection of Godzilla box art throughout the Earth. Okay. So you see different countries' interpretations. So this is not just a Japan's take. Oh no, no! If that, if you did that, it would be kind of a very pedestrian, ah, even a dull affair. Okay, okay. Uh, so we got some. You're not crazy. I'm then. not crazy then. <laughs> okay. Uh, so what's our what's our first one on our Godzilla box art critique? Okay, this looks pretty damn classic. Yeah. Oh, so Gojira. So I've met that 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 kanji is burned into my head by now. Uh, I got um, katakana. Do you? Yes, thank you, nerd. Uh, do, you, <laughs> do you remember when we looked at the Street Fighter uh, art of Second Impact, and it had that stuff in the bottom? It was Alex gripping Patricia or Elena, yes. and then it had Sagat with yes. the fucking eye patch yep, yep, in yep. the corner there. So that's kind of where some of that uh, derives from. So this was the original poster? This is the original uh, poster from the 1954 Gojira. And no matter who you were in Japan, whether you were an old man, an eye patch man, or a family man, or a wife, yep. everyone fears Gojira. Everyone fears Gojira, but no one's quite looking at him in the right angle. Mm. Uh, you can also see, like, there's planes. Godzilla's holding a plane Japanese that has planes. the Japanese, yes. like, rising sun on it. Yeah. Shooting some type of high-intensity laser focus beam. Now, it's really weird because this is a color poster, but the movie was in black and white. So whatever color that breath is supposed to be, the artist was like, flipped a fucking coin and went, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I guess yeah. it's orange because in the movie, it just looks like gray mist. There's no way to tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And ah. this at least establishes, because they can look at the Godzilla puppet or the, uh, the suit in real life and go, oh, it's this gray sludgy color. So that's why it doesn't really look green. But it's got all that nice highlighting on it, orange from fire and like blue if from whatever, the, mm -hmm, the, the, mm -hmm. the, the fucking sky, I guess. A lot of, we can't read it but I would say an overload of information yeah. on this poster. Which, to be fair, a bunch of old posters over on our side also yeah, used would to do. Yeah, we do that too. You know. And terror from the deep is terrorizing your buttocks yeah. with its monster whopper. You Where know, are your like, children? Are they safe from the terror? Probably terror, not, terror, maybe. scream terror from Watch the Watch out, sex, sex, it's <laughs> coming to take your children <laughs> yeah. and your teenagers. Just, uh, uh, we'll see the movie, all right? Calm that, down, that we'll see the movie. Stuff. All right. Um, certainly really, really busy, like all that burning shit in the background behind the the Gojira font mm -hmm. is a little like and look we can squeeze a bit more text right on the corner the there left. yeah well, Jay Jonah saw that and went hey what are we doing get some more text in there all right so uh, that that sets the tone but what's next uh, okay now uh, all right your first Willie, oh. <laughs> Willie, your thoughts please <laughs> now okay so so the, if, if you're uh, the, the first thing you see is throwing shade on both King Kong <laughs> and little people. Yes, makes King Kong look like a midget. The dinosaur baby from the show Dinosaurs. <laughs> And not the I'm mama. The baby. Not the mama. That or it's some. It's like some type of distant cousin of Jabba the Hutt is attacking not Would just anyone, not just Japan, but. The most precious, blonde, beautiful people. Oh. They need to be protected. Oh, let those Japanese masses die in the background. Down here. No. Never mind them. Oh, please save us. No. Like, Honkers McBlonde titties needs to live. Please. Willie, where is the fire yeah, I was shooting out of God's like, Because it's shooting out of like his like upper ceiling it's of his mouth. It's coming out this way, and it's going 
into his mouth. Yeah, it's going into his mouth. Because if it's trying to interpret that it's shooting out of his throat, it's fucking not. So someone in the building is shooting a Kamehameha from right about <laughs> yeah, here yeah, yeah. Goku's as the building. the building is falling down Goku, into his mouth. He's going to show you. Right? Uh, There's a hero the in there. The spine slash fire on his back. Yes. Make me think more that that's fucking Bowser. Yeah, those are not his little spinies. And you can see that, fuck it, he's green, right? He's a dinosaur. Dinosaurs are green, I guess. A little, a little micro tail. Look at I that little micro tail. I noticed that too. It's because, oh shit, there's a little bit of room there. What can we shove in? Well, he, was oh, he a, has a tail, right? He was in the pool, a shrinkage. Don't it, worry about it. Is that a tank or is that a giant hockey puck in the lower right? Uh, I'm going to say hockey puck. <laughs> I'm gonna say hockey puck. Okay, so let's look. Let, a monstrous sea beast surging up from the ocean. A city of six million wiped out by its death ray blast. Giant ships swamped. Jet planes swept from the skies. Trains ripped from the rails. More, more, more. See, See every, every screen, screen shattering, shattering thrill. thrill. Yeah. Featuring Raymond Burr, who was simply edited into the movie. Yeah, clearly. And I love how this implies there's porn as well. Certified. <laughs> Godzilla's coming for something. Mm. He's coming for a little something, something. I'm almost sad that he's not breaking through that sign, too. <laughs> you no, know? he's like, leave that sign for Steen. Um, I also like, like, makes King Kong look like a midget is technically true. He does. Sure. You know, classic Kong or whatever. But to throw shade right on the fucking poster front, that's ballsy. Also, like, the idea that the building top, had it been assembled... Would have only been about yay high. Yeah. Godzilla's not that much bigger than skyscrapers. That's crazy. In some cases, he's smaller, but, like, that depends on the movie. But a very interesting curio mm -hmm. in, in this lineup, because I've mm -hmm. never seen a Godzilla that quite looks like that. Stunning. Now, now the only question I have left is... Yes. Did, this, did this, this heroic Cadillac of a man over here... Is he in the process of dropping the blonde girl to pick up the redhead, or is he carrying the redhead and about to drop her to grab M the blonde maybe girl? Maybe he's making a woman pile, <laughs> and he's going back into ah, the mass crowd okay, okay. and throwing women in piles. And then running back in. Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay. I love how his shirt slightly ajar. That, yep, yep. That's that. Is that Raymond Burr? Uh, he did look similar to that, but he's always wearing a business suit. So, again, I think that's a romantic interpretation of the character. Okay. okay. Alrighty. Uh, <laughs> this early? We couldn't wait a little bit? No. For fucking... Uh. So, I believe... I, I, I believe this is Destroy All Monsters, or Son of Godzilla, or Godzilla Raid... It's, it's one of those early ones where they threw in a couple of guys... But I don't think it's Destroy All Monsters, because I think it's the one where it's just Godzilla's stupid son. Is that a baby or Godzuki it's down Man there? It's Manila, or okay. Minya, or whatever. And he's fighting another monster who's not that small. He's always fighting one that's bigger than that. But again, I don't understand. That little tiny dinosaur all off to the left, that's Gorosaurus, who's huge. I don't understand if that's supposed to be in the background or not, because it doesn't really seem like it. That Does it? Because it looks like there's a a streak of light yeah. that's shooting off him, or maybe that's maybe it's because he's motion. maybe it's because he's he's facing off with this thing, so he's supposed to be in scale yeah, with this that, thing. That's Kamakuras. I I think that you might be right, and of course a spider and a Byra who I don't believe yeah. is in this movie is really wanting to get into the battle. They're and chomping at the bit to get course, in there. Of course. All you know who else is chomping at the bit to yeah, get in there? Yeah, the entire class of children down here yeah. who fucking love it. Who are not staring at the kaiju really. Look at their sight lines. They're looking yeah, at yeah, the yeah. title of the movie. But it's just straight up like we've gone from the people in the bottom being fearful to people in the bottom being super hype. Yeah, 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 yeah. For these rope, these fucking mega. <laughs> these children floating in the ocean. Kaiju battles. Yeah. Um. You know, it's at least a painted thing. It's 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 a piece of art for sure. Um. But like, it's it's much more exciting than this movie is. Hey. So whoa. you can see this is from a different country. Yo. 
I this think. is getting interesting. So this is Godzilla uh, Contra Hedora. <laughs> so this is where the dumb uh, fucking clip of him flying that we use in yeah. the screen comes from. Godzilla and, wearing Senketsu. Yeah. And it's very James Bond, isn't it? Yeah. Because this, this is in the seventies. This movie. I love these posters, man. Yeah. Now this was handed to a fucking pro who did his best. Yeah. I love how Godzilla's kind of in mid, like battle pose, but he looks like he's kind of eating shit. Mm. He's falling down a little. He can't handle the idea of Hedora, the smog monster. Okay. Um. Usually, this movie is also called in different territories Godzilla versus the smog monster, and sometimes it's correctly called Contra Hedora. Uh, I can't tell. Is this maybe from Poland? Maybe from Russia? Maybe from the Ukraine? The Czech Republic? I'm not really sure. But yeah, it's it, there's. This is the only one like this. There's not another poster that looks like this. I'll tell you that for free. That's fucking cool, man. Yeah. I, I I really appreciate the uh, like the um, pop fiction style. Almost like a Mondo. Poster. Yeah, almost like yeah. a Mondo poster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a good one. It's really cool. There's way worse ones, but like this is this is a really interesting one, and it's very not typical. In like the fucking seventies or, or it's very not typical period. because the credits are crediting Japanese people. Yeah, it rarely, rarely does. Which that. is fucking unheard of. Sometimes they'll credit the director and that's about it. But uh, there you go. Godzilla vs. Hedorah, a fucking weird movie and of course a fucking weird poster, but still has a cool Solid, to solid it. Yeah, so far. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so what were you saying about making King Kong look <laughs> like a midget? Now not only did France get one of the worst artists I've ever seen <laughs> to make very disturbing version of Godzilla. Godzilla is not is smaller than King Kong in this image. Oh. So I think someone's bias was clearly being shown. Panique sur la monde. Les deux monstres <laughs> s'affrontent. King Kong contre Godzilla. <laughs> um, this is really weird because there's not a single scene that happens in a crowded oh, uh, yeah. like cityscape they fight on a desert island the entire time uh you're saying that king kong at no point sits on top of a little coffee shop <laughs> in france because that's the only place that's okay. when threatened that he, would make sense for them to panic here's my narrative godzilla loves this building and is hugging it for dear life and fucking dick lord king kong punched the top off Godzilla, furious at the slight, shoots a la <laughs> laser light yeah, okay. vaguely into King Kong's mouth, I guess. Because this building over here, that was his waifu, brah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, uh, yeah, exactly. You killed it. <laughs> you killed it. You punched its head off. Um, another weird thing is that if you kind of, like, unfocus your eyes, you're staring at a poster for Rampage, the game. I was going to say, that's what it's, came to it's mind. It's really yes. close, because since he's kind of looking like he's scaling up the building. Now, Godzilla looks way more terrifying, just in terms of facial expression, than Godzilla does. Sorry, King, King Kong. Kong. King yeah, Kong. No, looks because, way more terrifying. Because you feel a bit of humanity in King Kong. In, no, you feel a bit of humanity in Godzilla because really? of his eyes. But this, look at this. <laughs> yeah. Look at this fucking bestial. Right, this uh, uh um uh, Kronos devouring like, his children it's like face. Like Winston during his alt. You're like, yeah, no. Yeah, don't want none of that. I, I meant I meant to say uh, Godzilla looks more like he's on our side. The sheer girth of Godzilla's arm is Scott Steiner esque. Oh my god. Look at that. That's a oh goiter with a hand attached. It's 24 inch pythons. <laughs> <laughs> Big baba bump. It's it's an interesting color scheme. Like, you know, it's got like the sun is going down again. Not a single scene happens during the night yeah. either. <laughs> oh my god, I just what? noticed. Is this where his feet end? I think so. Is that the. So his, his implied foot is this? It's a cute little SD, like chibi Godzilla almost. What the fuck? He looks like a little tadpole or so. And notice his spines, he basically has three. Yeah. Where he has yeah, like yeah, yeah, dozens three. of them usually. So. A loose interpretation of what the character got a look nice like. render on the tail over here. You know that looks nice. So. That's the only part of the poster that looks nice. Everything yeah. else is terrible. Everything has this disturbing sort of dreamlike quality to it. Like, well, this is just the starry, the painting starry <laughs> night. Yeah, yeah. In exactly. the back right here, like, exactly. there's no detail happening. So fuck I it. Saw, I saw a, a cool fan or two had like little prints that was Mothra on a starry night, and it was simply the painted starry night with Mothra in the sky. Oh, it nice, awesome. nice, yeah, nice. Exactly. All right. Okay, stop. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Wait. 
<laughs> what are you talking about? Shut up. No, think about it, though. No, Wait, no, don't. no, 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 shut up. It. No. All right, this looks like something out of Dolly's playbook. <laughs> what? I How? Think that, I think this is a Poland poster, I, I, I think. So we can see our main character, Godzilla. Sin Godzilla. <laughs> Sin Godzilla. Burping his way to into your hearts with what like he looks like a soul's enemy. Yes. His face especially. And that gut just looks like a human fat gut. Like that's <laughs> yeah, not yeah, even yeah. remotely lizard like. And he seems to be in the middle of the eclipse from Berserk. Like <laughs> all things considered, this is pretty horrifying too, but yeah. it's not at all what they were going for. Did you watch the movie? Did you click play at any point, sir? It, again, a lot like box art where you, like uh, video game box art, where they look at the in-game graphics and then they go, well, this is what I think that looks like. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like that. Again, but, but, but it's but it's a clear, it's a film. Like you had a picture of the monster. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they did. Because uh, that, that he's like a like pukish brownish yellow. And I don't even know where they got that. And I don't know what scene it is when he's, running on blue sand dunes or again the eclipse oh my god this is the fucking i love worst. that he's burping though yeah and like let's not forget we can work in a little extra one over here as a little detail to, to <laughs> yeah, fuck, yeah, exactly. fuck fuck everything about this i like poster. sin godzilla he's he's coming up man. he doesn't even have a scale on his body yeah he's yeah. fleshy and naked <laughs> uh the terror of godzilla now, this is odd, because we're going to go through about a few different posters for this one movie. The world simply aflame. The floor is lava. <laughs> we, have, we have now entered the age of lava. We are out of AD. This is a combination of photo manipulation and just pure painting, because those are just photos those of the Those are photos creatures. of the creatures. Whereas everything else... So, explain to me what is happening with the building... Uh, behind Godzilla's spines. What? Get your get your building lore out. Like I'm a like I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that it's it's cracked at the bottom and it's about to fall over, but there's no sign of the original connecting piece in sight. Perhaps it's just lost in flame. The flames are engulfing the very like molecules of the building because the, oh, the the windows are there. But the windows are there. We can't see the windows here from what used to be. Uh, these are some serious ass flames, brah. <laughs> like, you can look down <laughs> the street running. and you can see people in and the flames. they Silent Hill and all the flames are erupting out of the And they're not on fire, but they're in the flame. It must be really tough for the chick in the red dress because no one will be able to find her amongst the, li the licking, no. the licking uh, uh, devil pitchforks that are the flames. Like, perhaps it is the flames of hell that devour only the sinful... And these pure of heart humans are run. I don't know what's going on, man. Um, we're, but we're standing on them now. Yeah, no, we're standing. Well, because kaiju are like, fuck it, it's fire. I don't care. But you know, again, Godzilla, much larger, shooting a laser beam into the background. That two smaller kaiju and Mecha Godzilla, seemingly giving the fewest fucks that has ever been given yeah. on a full frontal fucking kaiju blast. His hand is up here, he's like he's almost like, hey, hey, peace. Hey, no, man. Hey, hey. hey. Uh, there's my just... there's my big favorite King Caesar right over there next to Mecha Godzilla. Okay, not really doing anything as King Caesar wants to do. And of course, the humans have to interrupt up here. They can't just let them fight. Was this made in the age of Spider-Man, the 60s cartoon, where the sky was always red and purple? Painted and weird, and yeah. And like, just really Ralph Bakshi stuff. We're, we're, again, we're going to ignore everything, everything happening about that. with this building here. We're just not going to pay attention to it. Uh, this the pro What sucks, especially, is Godzilla in profile can be terrifying if you use the right photo. But when you, you when you make him look as skinny and as turd like that, as that, possible, that doesn't look right to me. That looks like there was some fuck up because I don't remember any of the suits of this age looking look dude, like a big penis. Like if you just take that, that just looks like it came out of Zach's butt. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, again, like it's hard to take '70s Godzilla and make him look scary because he's the goofiest of all, and this is pretty fucking goofy. I'll give it that. So this is the Japanese poster for. Uh, 
uh, the terror of Mechagodzilla, or that's at least Everybody the... shut the fuck up. What? Tell me what's going on up here. That's the, that's the anniversary logo. Oh, that's like so the cute. 20th, like, Godzilla suggestively waving his back end towards you. Um, it's my 20th anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> Time to celebrate. <laughs> um... So this this actually uh, this poster means a, a whole bunch to me. This is the Japanese version, but the American version is very very similar. It just takes a photo manipulation of the characters and uh, uses them almost the exact same pose. It was one of the first Godzilla box arts I ever saw in my local VHS store. So it always see now think about this eight year old tiny Babby Matt yep. saw. A dinosaur, yep. a green one, shooting fire, a red aquatic looking dinosaur, and a fucking giant robot yeah. shooting lasers while every natural disaster plays in the background. And a, Rivers of fire. And a streak of UFOs. I don't even... Yeah, yeah, there is an alien race that shows up in that movie. Now, there's, there's the skyline at the bottom, right? That's correct. Above the skyline is the waves. Yes. Burning. Yes. Above that is a fucking naval ship in blue water. Some type of water tornado lifting out of the water and becoming a tornado in the sky. One can only say that the gods were angry <laughs> and then the monsters showed up to hype up the natural disasters. So a, a tsunami crashing into the city wasn't hard enough. We got to make it a fire tsunami. It's it's a very it's a very striking poster. Mm. It makes an impression despite almost every image overlapping and making no sense. And it doesn't even look like they're fighting each other. It looks like they're straight up just attacking the city. Uh, it at least looks like Mechagodzilla's aiming towards uh, Godzilla's dick. Godzilla seems to be aiming even like lower, but and I have to give props to my boy, Titanosaurus, that uh, red dinosaur in the middle. He's like this cool aquatic guy. He can, he can make like wave blasts and, sh and stuff. Very underutilized monster. And it sucks that he's mostly obscured through the fire and the flames. We carry on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Can you do me a favor? Can you zoom up on that green object in the middle of the fucking tornado storm? What is that? I don't even know. Oh, nice textures on him. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's got a cool, like, what is that? It's a boat being broken into pieces? A green boat? Maybe, if it was is in the ocean, I suppose. I'm not really sure. But look at Titanosaurus, it's fucking cool. Yeah, that's a cool hey, one. while we're up there, well, let's, let's take a look at that suggestive Godzilla in the top left. Yeah, look at him. He's doing a little shuffle. <laughs> He's doing the you, shuffle. Like all you, you can totally see like the frames of animation that came before with him just going like, what, uh, 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 it shaking looks that like the booty, Marvel, uh, shaking Marvel that comic book booty. Twentieth like anniversary, Godzilla. <laughs> You know, just he's doing a little like a little jaunt. I would love to have seen if that was on the original prints of him doing this. Little like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like, then he turns his torso the other way, but he keeps his head looking at you like, uh, 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 uh. uh, uh. And okay, this is amazing. So this I is this amazing. In our in our last uh, box art critique, because um, you this is what you were your mind went to. So. There's not a single scene that takes place in New York City. Well, of course in not. In this movie. Of course not. Uh, and the monsters are taller than both those buildings? Of course they are. But it's not about that. It's not about that. It's about the spirit about of that. the battle. Also, there's two monsters missing from this poster. This is the movie that has Jet Jaguar in it, as well as Gigan, but fuck it. No. Nah. No, nah, just have Megalon, the Christmas tree monster there. And, dude, this is to the point... It's it's again it's spiritually about the the titans yeah, standing on top of the buildings theming, like you that know are, they're titans by the fact they're they're standing on top of these buildings right and the twin towers impossibly higher than the city who booked this match god that's a, that, that's a high stakes pay per view god booked this match really not much to say other than this is a and the poster is uncluttered unclouded it, it actually its convictions is. are pure and true i like how the the cityscape is kind of implied down there it's just gray shapes and a guy kind of made a few strokes yeah and said ah oh, fuck it that's good enough no nah, look I, how incredible this is fuck i love you. it i love it it's yeah, i love, love this it. it's amazing and tasteless 
all at once. They only have enough room to balance on one leg at a time. If they put their second <laughs> leg down, they're gonna fall. Or, or they'll crush the building uh, underneath them. It's American Gladiators. Yeah, no. Kaiju edition. It, it's it, there's not much to say. Like you, it's all right there in front of your eyes. <laughs> so, tell me what you think is wrong with this. Uh, everything in not English down here. No. Um. Well, Jet Jaguar. This is the only poster where he's prominently featured. Is he can go big. Yes. But he can't go that big. Oh, yes, he can. Can he yep. get that big? Oh, you'll see. Okay. <laughs> uh, Anything else you find that's incorrect? What are you there? standing on, my friend? Uh, are you again is just standing on. Are you are you there. riding Godzilla? Godzilla's back. That'd be awesome. Right now, is that what's happening? No. Okay. You're still missing a very important part of information about what's going on here. Uh, the planet is now just a halo. You're finding lots of other stuff that's incorrect. You're doing a We're good job. We're just curving the halo. You want it? You want a hint? Where's King Kong? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Wait! Wait! What? What am I looking at? So in some countries, kayfabe. <laughs> Jet Jaguar is King Kong. Are you fucking kidding me? Because there was a robot Kong in a previous Toho movie that's not part of Godzilla, and they vaguely look somewhat similar. So in some countries, they advertised him. He was booked as King Kong. They just called him King Kong. <laughs> they didn't care. And they just dubbed him to be whatever, so why not? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> God, no one had- there were no rules back then! Okay, okay, hold on. Okay, he is just afraid. He is just fearful of everything and everyone. He is a baby that doesn't know what he's doing. And this bridge was looking at him funny, so he's like, ah, Get away from me, bridge! So, do you want to know my other little factoid about this poster? Uh-huh. It's the same poster as the last movie. Shut the up. Shut up! Notice how it's also called Godzilla 1980. Yeah. That's not a real title for any Godzilla movie. That's just what France called that movie. So these are the, these last only... three posters of the same movie? Yeah. <laughs> so we're just gonna pretend nothing else is in it? Also, we're destroying New York again. What are you doing? What is that creature? Who? You're right in that he's frightened of what he's doing. What are those flippers he has for arms? He doesn't want to be here. He wasn't supposed to <laughs> be in today. In this. But they, France only got this movie in 1980. So that's why they yeah, called it 1980. Yeah. Also, like, the Chrysler building and everything is, like, jutting outwards from well, him. Well, I think it's because it's, they're being supplanted by his girl. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's like he came out of the ground almost. Or he dropped down really oh, hard. Oh, if he dropped down like a Titan from Titanfall. And then they all like blasted outward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or he got like this like radioactive boner and just knocking yeah. aside. The, the, the two towers are there you again. Could, you could, dude, with the four monsters, you could have just had the other two dudes. Yeah, why not? Battling it up out here. Why not? Again, another Spider-Man sky and then it's all burning red and black as of most course. skies do. And, um, and these rocket missile planes that are kamikaze themselves into him. What's interesting, though, is that that Godzilla font stands out, looks looks fine. Uh, it's actually been used a couple of times since yeah, then in various different I've seen formats. it before. Uh, Not with 1980 on the bottom, uh, but I've the, seen it. The Godzilla uh, fighting games, uh, the ones on the PS2, GameCube, and all that, uh, they use that font, like, uh, uh, here and there, so it's kind of weird, but... Uh, uh, France definitely maybe caught a whiff of the movie, maybe saw a dinosaur, and the guy said, I, I can draw a salamander, that's fine. So what we're saying is there's no brand guide to Godzilla movie posters that was shared internationally. Uh, you know, except for except for Japan that kept it mostly, obviously, to consistent. the letter. Even America was, like, very consistent. In one movie, they didn't even call him Godzilla, they called him Gigantus, the fire monster. Of course they did. Because you gotta book him. He's like mankind that way. <sighs> Now this is awesome. Okay. This okay. is the okay. Japanese breakdown of all of his features. That is fucking sick. Because I was just saying everyone's lazy. The moment you stop being lazy, everything gets amazing. Yeah. 
So, of course, we can't read most of it, but, like, that's a really cool concept because this is getting him over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Godzilla's not in it. That kind of sucks. But everyone but, knows Godzilla already. But there's his point. name right yeah, there. Yeah, Godzilla yeah. versus Mechagodzilla. Everyone knows Godzilla at this point in Japan. So. I love how that plus an H of the blue font means Mecha because the rest of it means Godzilla. Gojira. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just nice seeing it. And now, and, and so you get to see him doing all of his the attacks moves. at the same in time, time yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> All the noises. Look at the action figure. Look at it go. I love how everything is like a field on fire behind of him. Of course, of course. Like the like he's in the middle of battle. Plus rocket boots. Yeah, destru going off destruction as well. porn, man. Yeah, yeah and just to show you that he can fly. Exactly. Also, there's the new logo for the anniversary. The little green thing. Yeah, yeah, Godzilla. yeah. Still shaking it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of the one that they would use for, uh, like, years and years after. But this post is fucking awesome. It's a great render. Yeah. Great render. Oh, fuck off. Are we going back to whatever fucking country that now, was? to be fair... You've gotten a little bit closer to what Godzilla's supposed to look like. Yeah. You have the vague shapes, but apparently he shoots out Wi-Fi signals <laughs> and offers... Oh, but he's got five bars every time. Right? He offers strong wireless to everyone at the cafe. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know why that bug is there. Is that supposed to be Gigan? Gigan's not really bug-like. It's Megalon that's bug-like, but regardless... That bug is doing a cartwheel. This, this one and the other one, at least when you see it, you know you think Europe. Yes. You know what? I'll give yeah. them that. They have their own identity. And it's different from America, it's different from Japan. And they're doing the artistic thing where, like, the inside of his mouth, like, don't worry about whatever this line yeah, is. Yeah, that's stupid, don't worry about that part. But it's just, like, fucking, come on, guys. You know what, I'll give it to, I'll give you this, this is an interesting texture. You didn't go it's with like the weird, yeah, you didn't go with that weird flesh, fat man thing from last time. Yeah. So I you're get getting closer, but still. Oh, God, if you want a bad night, try sleeping on Godzilla's back. Oof. Look at that fucking shit. Ugh. I'd rather sleep on, like, Millennium Godzilla's Dude, back. Dude, like, this hell. right here, you rotate this sideways, and, oh, you, and you have a level of Worms Armageddon. Oh, my God, that's so good. You're so fucking right. I've never seen you be more right. <laughs> Holy shit! Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Godzilla's looking lean and slick. <laughs> Look at them gams. So, please tell me. Godzilla's what? ready for a night on the town. How is Godzilla grabbing a tiny King Ghidorah by the throat? I don't know. Because Ghidorah's all the way across the river. Oh my god, it's true. It's true. Hold on. And he's destroyed a theme park. What a bastard. Well, that's why he's getting him then. And he's not even... He's shooting something else. He's shooting a green, like, ecto-ray. I don't know. Like I'm oh, giving Godzilla his little... Stiletto. His, his fishnet. <laughs> yeah, his yeah. fishnet leggings. He, he does look like some type of kaiju of the night. His fuck me boots ready to rock. <laughs> I've never seen such a faux pas in perspective ever than the grabbing of a kaiju way in the background than that. Like, what were they thinking? The only thing more amazing would have been if this arm over here was just choking out this guy way in yeah, the background, yeah. too. <laughs> like, Ghidorah is bigger than Godzilla it's in my terms poster. of mass and, like, wideness. I don't understand. And why the fuck is he, do like, again, they're in New York. Is Monster Island an attraction park, theme park? In it's not. It's just a generic tropical island where they keep all the monsters. Is there a roller the, coaster it, anywhere in the movie? Who? 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 <laughs> I don't remember if there's a roller coaster, but uh, they're in, clearly in New York again. That doesn't look like any Japanese city to me. It looks like Montreal. That's fucking La Rome. Yeah, basically. God damn. Uh, we've decided to switch it up. We're now going with green for the laser color. So that's a thing. Uh, it does change a lot, but like in this era, it was always like blue or white or something. Green was I mean, never. The warm. idea of fighting on top of a roller coaster is it pretty fucking cool. cool. Yeah, but uh, it's just a lies. So this is an American poster, and it makes very little sense because that's again a completely other. That looks like Reptar. 
I am Reptar. <laughs> yeah, it does look like fucking Reptar. E even the Spinides on the back uh, kind of look like Reptar. Space monsters from beyond the stars at war with Godzilla for the Earth. Not really. It's not what the thing was, but sure, whatever. You know, paint your own narrative, America. That's fine. I want to destroy the Earth. You can't have it. No, I'll use my Dalsim arms to stretch across yeah, the, the globe cloth. to fucking punch you out, bitch. It's my poster. Perspective oh, obeys me. Oh my god! I just noticed one of Ghidorah's heads is overlapping Godzilla's shoulder, <laughs> so his neck is also ginormously long. <laughs> How? Perspective. <laughs> oh... So I bought this poster for the office. I uh, I, I bought a couple, and we'll choose whoever whoever one votes. Dude. Um, so this is the start of the Come famed on, the fame paintings that the Metal Gear artist, the older Yoji Shinkawa. Uh, not Yoji Shinkawa. It was the guy that did the real the Snake Eater paintings. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he died uh, the other year. I made like a long post about. It. He also made that those sick Mad Max posters. Yes, he was the Japanese poster artist. Poster of the 80s, he was right? the Ali Moss of Japan. Um, and really, really, I was like sad to know that he died. I'm like, oh my god, I didn't know how. Like, he created Star Wars posters for Japan, and they're almost, if not better, than the traditional Star Wars posters, yeah. right? So, this is the first one that he made that he's contracted to make for Godzilla 1985 or 1984 in Japan. That's what it was called. It was just the new cycle of Godzilla movies. In this the is the best poster I've ever seen for Godzilla. Uh, it's it's definitely up there. Uh, so this is the first one, and the amount of sexual energy Dude. In, it contained in Dude. one frame. And it's like you don't even need to see a burning city or humans running or whatever. This mass of just this heap of just color, just destruction, implies everything you need to know. Now it looks like a mishmash of colors, but if you really look, like if you just look at a glance, you just know destruction. And like that, it like it's fastly done. Yeah, but it's there now. Don't get me wrong; the perspective here is off. Godzilla should be, but it's for dramatic effect. But it's for dramatic effect, and like whatever. When it looks that fucking awesome, like this is a skyscraper. You're standing here. You're looking up at this thing, and it's like, yeah, boy, <laughs> yeah, exactly. come on, S Arr! Hammer Mountain. <laughs> Fucking... A poster to have sex in front. Right? Certainly. Now, this is for Godzilla 1985. Let's see America's interpretation of that poster for the same movie. <laughs> okay, alright, look, look, it's cute. It's cute, I'll give it that. From the front of point from the front angle, you got a human looking face. Yeah, the Godzilla right? that the that version of the suit looks like that. It looks kind of off. Uh, you've got, like, what appears to be someone dropping their orange- Dropping an orange. A <laughs> slice of orange what on the yours? ground. And then it's just like, it's just po it's splatting open. Yeah, I mean- um, Behind the city. Because, let's say- All this OJ. Let's say they just had Godzilla there. There's this big, huge, negative black space, and they're like, shit. I well, need to put confirm whether or not this is a crowd of people. Is this actually no, supposed to be? Can you zoom in more? I can't, like... Because I can't tell either. I think that's supposed to be a crowd of people. I... That's a crowd of people. I, I think... That's a crowd of people. Now you see these, this gigantic ass reactor is exploding over yeah, there. Yeah, big farts, big um, farts. So, there are no other kaiju in this movie other than if Godzilla fights the fucking Super X, who I fucking hate to death now because of that stream I did where the game sent seven super X's against me and fucking clean my clock. But it's nice to know that this is all new. <laughs> and it's your favorite fire-breathing monster. Never breathe fire. That's fucking bullshit. Dude. Like, it's not what it's, it is. It's this this shot of Godzilla is him like it's almost like you he's destroying the city in like an intro to a show and you tap him on the shoulder and he turns around and goes, oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Hey, this is welcome to my movie. Now, <laughs> like, like too many cooks. <laughs> he turns around. He's like, "Oh, oh hey!" hey, hey, hey. Ah, so Godzilla. this also paints a really sad narrative because this is 1985. The last Godzilla movie was in '74, so it was a long. It was basically uh, ten years, right? So this was the big. You see, the legend is reborn, all new. You see, new world pictures on the bottom right. They they threw some money behind this, bringing this over to America, and it was a huge, huge failure. 
Uh, it, it like did not reap any like benefits, did not make a profit. So this is the movie that then canceled all the rest until Godzilla 1998. Oh, no. That's After the... this one, no Godzilla's got proper th uh, uh, theatrical releases or real, like, like there are some that you could find maybe on VHS as imports. That's the year I was born. Oh, there you go. Dang yourself. I canceled the fucking Godzilla yeah, franchise. Yeah, you canceled the, the Zilla apocalypse. <laughs> it came to an end. Uh, and it's not a great movie, and, like, this isn't a great... Compared to the last poster? Why? How? Wooly, if you are, like, Raymond Marketing mm -hmm. in the 1980s... Why would you not go for that last one and just put Godzilla in 1985? That That's, font is fine. It doesn't that make they sense. Use. It does. You, the fact that your eyeballs would gr glaze over. And in the 80s, this type of painted poster was never the more the hottest vogue. thing. Yeah, never more. Makes Juice no Trusen, sense. All these fucking poster wizards fucking doing this shit. Why would you go for this really like, you know, not the worst thing ever? But oh, I fucking hate the Super X. I don't know. Like that's your villain. The Super X. Well, Godzilla's more or less the villain in this movie. But the the Super fuck? X. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but this does kick off the era of super sick posters going forward. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. This, this motherfucker knows what he's doing. Yeah, they, like, for pretty much all of the 80s and early 90s movies, they got him for Okay, this. wait, no, hold on. This is actually way more impressive than it seems. How? Because of, look, look at everything happening here. Yep. Exactly. All right. Fuck that. No, I fucked it up. Well, what, like are this. Doing it? The like this. The font is slanting upwards. Like this. Brings you to the summary. Right. Brings you to the missiles. Dude, everything brings, happening brings here. Brings you up to the fucking kaiju porn. Everything happening up here, right? Yeah. And then this slide, like you kind of get your curves that bring you up here, and this is your curve that brings you up here. Yeah. It's all about Goji. Yeah, exactly. That's this, a really this good setup. This was also setup. used as the box art for Super Godzilla on the Super Nintendo. Uh, much more exciting image than that game is. Yeah. But, like, this this is personally one of my favorites, because when I... If I was to close my eyes and think about Godzilla shit, I think of Green Dinosaur grappling with three-headed golden dragon. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It's fucking... Yeah, it, no, I think it might be my favorite. No matter what line you follow, you know, even if you go over here, you're getting interrupted by how strong this is. Yeah. And you're coming right back this way, and you're coming back to fucking go... Like, everything's really well done. This and is the, solid, the man. The submarine is not a random element. The submarine is in the movie, and there's, like, a yeah. missile... Like mention in the movie, like they they, I they mean they do stuff with it, so it's not just random tanks thrown in at the last second. Unfortunate silhouette, but unfortunate, uh, <laughs> but, what but you, appropriate. What are you gonna do? Yeah, well, you, you know they can't be perfect. They're 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 telegraphing what you're supposed to react when you see Godzilla on the screen. Yeah, which is like huge boners. All right. <laughs> Yeah! So this is Godzilla versus Destroya! That's way cooler than the movie probably is. No, Godzilla vs. Destroya is a good one, but uh Destroya in the in the bottom there, just basically fucking Diablo. <laughs> okay, let me see if I'm figuring this out correctly. Because yeah, that's a fucking demon monster. Uh yeah. that that is something straight out of Blackthorn. But what I'm seeing here is Godzilla gets powered up uh, during the movie. Uh, no, if you've ever seen it, um, there's always that version of Godzilla you see that has a burning tummy, has fire like texture on his stomach. Okay, and that's after uh, one of the previous movies, Godzilla versus um, Space Godzilla, where he gets so damaged that he's melting down. And this movie starts with him already in this burning form. Oh, he's damaged. Okay, and, okay. Uh, spoilers from this movie from 1995. Uh, the the big Godzilla there dies, but there's a younger, uh, slimmer Godzilla that's not as big. That that's that middle one. Yeah, yeah and he yeah, kind of okay. takes up the mantle after that point. It's kind of weird because this was the last movie in the '80s '90s uh, era. So yeah, he's there's not actually quite... there's straight up two Godzillas in this movie. There's straight up two Godzillas, and then both fight Destroya, and both don't really win. Okay. Destroy is that OP. Okay. Um, Destroy is fucking sick. Um, this one, I actually don't like it as much as the others. I think Godzilla and all everything, but all the darkness on the bottom, it just kind of gets a little all muddled a lot. And you that Destroy is doesn't really strike it. He looks, looks like a skulking sort of creature. 
Yeah, and, you know what I mean. Like, but it, it's still it's, doing it because it's like, still an amazing image, but, dude. Because like the 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 this right here is an it's arrow, still man. Doing it, yeah. It's still an arrow, and the light is is guiding you up there. Uh, if you didn't, if I had no image of what Evil Act looked like, but you said that name, I would yeah, assume it was would, Destroyer. Yeah, that would be Evil Act! And then the actual city below. Yeah, that's a solid-ass poster, man. Yeah, yeah, not my favorite, but certainly... Look like, at the, look at this sky render, dude! Look at those clouds! Clouds are hard to draw. I drawed clouds for years, and I hated it. <laughs> they fucking did it. <laughs> this... Is the Japanese is version of of Godzilla of, 1998? Yeah, which I didn't even know this poster existed until I went to G Fest and saw it. This is probably the best image to come out of the movie because if you remember the American one, it's just the frontal view of his of his foot stomping in the middle of Manhattan yes, Street. Yes, yes, and that's all it was. But this implies an elder god. Yeah, coming out of the skies. If yeah. you recall. Godzilla is smaller than the Statue of Liberty. Yes. In that in that movie. But it's it's about the spiritual representation of his fear. Yeah. And of course they have Godzilla there, but fear. fuck it. Write it in Japanese as well. Of course. So so we all know. And uh, all the green is what tips off that it's nineteen ninety eight, because that yeah, was the whole theme. Yeah, sort of. All the whole marketing had a bunch of green. Well radiation, you know. Radiation's usually green to people. But like I'm sure Japan seeing that old. foot is already going ugh, pig disgusting. <laughs> Um, I, I still think that's pretty sick. Like, it almost seems like a teaser, it, like yeah. a teaser poster, you know? Yeah. Um, I don't know why Godzilla's shooting lightning out of his ass, but what can you do? Yeah. And, but it's like, you know, and also like, we, we all seen Jurassic Park, so like, raptor legs, yeah. Yeah. America's it's, it's down the, for raptor legs. I'm just surprised there's no talent on the back of uh, ankle oh, bone there, you Oh, know? like a little, like, like hook over here. A little yeah. hooky there, yeah, right yeah, over yeah, there. Yeah. yeah, you'd think so. Totally. But, uh, there you go. I needed to get in there somewhere, and I thought that was the best one. Let's get ready to crumble. So, after Godzilla 1998, this is the next and probably last for a long time. This is the start of the Millennium series, or Godzilla New Design, and America did bring this over. I thought it was called Godzilla The Movie 2000. Uh, just Godzilla 2000, as far as I know. Okay. Uh, so, Sony still had the rights to Godzilla, since they had it from 1998, and put this out there... And this was Japan's reaction film to the to last one. Okay, so one, his neck stops here, but these it's, spikes it's are coming little, way the fuck out here. They're way out there. They look cool. But, don't get me wrong. But they're they're so far off base, right? Second, this tail is traveling. Oh wow, I didn't even notice. This tail is fucking doing it, bro. Or or you could say that it's rap like your 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 interpretation is is fine, but it could actually be going through the cityscape and crashing through it. Yeah, yeah, tail. it could it could it's, just be it could just unclear. be just doing this. You're right. It's unclear. But, but it's still fucking going that the, the distance. The, the fonts from that that uh French poster the one, the Godzilla 1980 yes. is now kind of being used again after not seeing it for a while. And it's really busy image. And of course, half blue, half orange. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Um, the evil in the skies. Get, I think get ready to crumble ruins it. it it's pretty dumb. It's not good. It's it pretty doesn't dumb. need to be there. But do you see the hidden kaiju? Uh, I don't think it's very hidden. He's literally right here looking at well, us. Well, I thought he was hidden. That's his teeth, too, on the side. That's Orga, one of my favorites. Under Doesn't under he fight, like, 20 kaiju in this movie? He fights one. Oh. I don't know which one you're thinking of. Final he, Wars. Final Wars, yeah. He fights and kills 20 kaiju. Well, we're getting there in a second. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, not my favorite, but certainly they're trying to invoke those Japanese painted posters. And it is painted. No one's going to deny that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get fucking wrecked, bro. <laughs> yeah, that one. No, that's the helicopter that needs to die. Nice try. <laughs> Ooh. So, um, in the in the millennium arc, they did after that one. They tried a lot of like just photo posters. We fucking zone of the enders now. Stopped with the paintings, and this is one of the best. Like, there's another version of this where it's just a girl, uh, the girl pilot, standing in the middle of the screen, and the kaiju are thrown way in the back. I didn't even think that was worth including, but this one when I first saw that, and I saw Kiryu. That's what it's not called Mechagodzilla. It's called Kiryu. Okay. Um, 
and that's the hypest pose you could ever think absolutely for him absolutely. and notice it's not godzilla versus mecha godzilla or mecha carry it's, it's cross. cross that's fucking awesome yeah um man. it's not i'm not sure if this is the main poster but it's one of them that was used like I really... this i like this feels like any capcom crossover where ryu is about to like yep. charge up a shore you get over here and like kazuya is coming down on him or fucking Kyo Kusanagi's yeah, yeah, coming yeah, down yeah. on him or or anybody, you know? Good shit. This yeah. tale is awesome. You know what? Completing the rule. Rendered Mecha Godzilla is the best. Photo is terrible. Yeah, there's there's been very, very few photos because no one wants to draw all that mechanical shit. It takes confidence in your balls to say, I'm going to draw this Mecha Godzilla. And if you have that confidence, that means you're a real artist. What's really interesting, though, is that this, this is like a photo man manipulation, but like Godzilla is standard. They just took a photo of the suit. But how they got this photo or just photoshopped in the tail, I don't know, because he doesn't do a move that's nearly hype as that, and the tail doesn't whip around him like that, so someone saw, someone said, let's do a photo manipulation, let's photoshop it, but let's try to make it something that's not just a lazy photo, let's actually try to put some work into that. Absolutely, and this is better than just some guy wearing the suit, like, this is a fucking sick render of the body as well, yeah. like, that's good shit. I like this poster a lot. So they brought him back, the, uh. the Japanese artists. <laughs> There's two posters for Final Wars. And when you have so much shit going on, this is a lot, a lot like those Metal Gear posters. It is. For uh, Twin Snakes, uh, Sons of Liberty, and uh, Snake Eater. They threw in everything. Say what you will about the American Godzilla this is stupid. What do you mean? His eyes look so dumb on the top there. It, it like, looks um, a little weird. They should be like over here. I, I don't think he quite looks like that in the movie. I can't. It's it's yeah. I just noticed it now that you're making that you're pointing it out. Uh, you can also see that this seems to be a scan of something that someone signed. Yeah. Yeah. Now um, the monsters you can barely make out. They're just a bunch of colors and shapes. Zoom in a little bit. Now, yeah, a lot of it, especially on the right, uh, on the left, rather, you see Mothra, you see Gigan just kind of thrown in there. You see Ghidorah, or Manda, sorry, a little bit. And it's it's a lot going on. The two central characters are there. That's good. They stand out. Then you see Mike Hagar in the middle, who literally is Mike Hagar if you're to watch the movie. Now, the main part of this is that you see in the top left there, you see uh, kind of gray. That's the new monster, Monster X who's fucking coolest. If we were to sit down and watch Final Wars, which you still haven't yet, you would like Monster X the most because it's basically just a man in a suit okay. where he does martial arts shit. Okay. And it's fucking sick. And we've got Kato over yeah. here. So remember, Final Wars is directed by the director of Versus and the Twin Snakes. Kitamura. Kitamura. So uh, that's that's just an actor that Kitamura uses a lot, that guy that you uh, highlighted there, Kato. Um, and... Uh, not, I like the, the next Final Wars poster that we're going to get after this. This certainly, you know, it's, there, when you have multiple posters, you certainly want to have one that's like, look at all the shit we got, and then have a more simple one. Why do they, Why are these people so important? The, that's the main hero character, that guy, and that's is not, not love interest, but woman but, that helps but him. But main human is, what, 10% of a Godzilla movie? In this one, he's much more, but he's a mutant that does martial arts, so they highlight him because he's an action guy, uh, rather than just a boring scientist or whatever. Okay. She's a scientist, she helps him out. Also see in the top, top right, there's the new anniversary logo. Which was oh. used on everything in 2000. Yeah, now that's getting more of more fighting gamey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's exactly fighting gamey. <laughs> exactly. That's the Final Wars poster I like. Okay. Now this is again doing what I what I brought up mm -hmm, earlier. Mm -hmm. The power pose. Back towards you, creating the triangle. A romantic power pose, because those those fat fucking, ass tail. Those fucking spines are a romantic interpretation and if people are confused about romantic what is romantic if you're to if you're to uh, Rom romanticize 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 grander more oh, yes, majestic yes, yes. invoking rather than being actually accurate i i'd love it if there was a godzilla that had a giant fucking christmas tree on his back yeah but exactly it's glowing too right now that's the not the case the only part i don't like is the vague 
city that's kind of getting shuffled Because it's almost like right. he already did it. He already did it. And more importantly, who's next? Yeah. There you so go. There you I go. I put in this because this is what this is. This is an official poster by Legendary for Godzilla 2014. Uh, where I was like, this is the more interesting one. The other ones are those like vague ones where he's way in the background. He's just kind of got his back. Yeah. The legendary pose. But I was like, you know, in the age of, of movie posters all being lazy photoshops of people looking smug or just zooms ups on faces or whatever, I, I at least appreciated a little bit of like art going into this. They went out of their way in every single poster or image I've seen for this to be like Japan we're not taking your baby we're not taking your baby it's all you they it's put, all you Japan they put the, they put the characters for Gojira yeah, behind Godzilla uh, in every part of the logo and that's a sick logo having, it is having the white Godzilla in English and then, horizontally yeah, and, and then, then having then Japanese the katakana going down like sick. they really really wanted to be like it's not the movie two th- it's not the Godzilla of 98 it's all you, baby. Yeah, it's all you. It's all we're, for you. We're, we're pointing. We're doing the double point. It's you all know? for you, Japan. What, what you up to? Um, I, I I really like it. Um, I kind of feel like those those towers that are in front of Godzilla are not really needed. Like the the black uh, like silhouette buildings are cool. That makes sense. That frames it a little bit. Better. All for contrast. All for contrast. Um, Japan. All for revenge. <laughs> Oh! This is the official Mondo poster. Oh, yeah! Clever girl! <laughs> I like this so much I used it as a stream layout when I think on Godzilla. Motherfucker, that's good. Mondo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mondo. They, they've had a couple of Godzilla posters throughout various re-releases and stuff, but I think this is the one that they did for Legendary to promote it or whatever. Dude, there's, there's really, really smart. Nothing else to say. It just it just works for obvious reasons. A lot, a lot of symbolism going on, like nukes, you know, like yeah, um, everything, uh, mushroom yeah, explosion absolutely, absolutely. into a Godzilla form. Yeah, um, yeah, not much to say. I would love to get it, but like any Mondo poster, I'm not worthy. Nope. So. You gotta hit that Twitter at noon. Exactly. And now we arrive to Shin Gojira. Can you... Th- what are they trying to do here? Uh, are they hearkening back to anything? Is this the upcoming one? Yes. Okay. This is the Japanese poster for it. Yep. Man, Hideaki Anno. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> that is horrible. That is horrifying. Oh, his skin is looking horrible. Like, his mouth is fucking starts back here, brah. I know, I know. He's got a flip top head. I, because the more I think about it, what they're really trying to do with this new movie is invoke the first the one. The first which one. Which was Atomic Horror. Yes. Uh, and everyone looking up at the sky going, whatever. I love how they committed so hard to badly photoshopping in the people's faces when at they're the bottom. clearly not looking at anything. No, 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 absolutely, exactly. And you got, uh, I'm, just, I'm still on the render with the red, the little touches of his flesh burning through, like... He I'm looks not, like he's in pain. I'm not sure if I read to the uh, if you if I told you this, but like that particular suit, what it's going for is they researched it. That's what people's skin looked like in, at at the uh, the bombings. Oh, get out! A- any corpses that were left, that's that's what skin would look like. <sighs> so they're all in. Hideakiano, still not peace and still not retired. And feeling peaceful, he's got to scare the kids one more time. Got to scare the kids one more time. I I like that they did this, and you remember the other previous posters, just that weird silhouette where you first saw him as the red background. Yes. Just that black silhouette where people were trying to turn up the brightness and contrast on Photoshop to see what the fuck this was. And this one, like, I love that they're trying to, you know, do a, a an old school homage uh, to it. And again, information overload. There's a literal paragraph. <laughs> I think that's just beeps and boops, though. I, I, just numbers, I, I maybe. don't know. I don't know. But that's our last one, so. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, it was nice that we uh, did this today, because uh, Funimation uh, announced today they are the ones distributing the movie in in the theaters. Oh. They got the license. So, like the Dragon Ball Return of Frieza run yeah. in theaters that happened, they're going to be doing that, so I'm really happy that that finally has an actual release date. It'll be coming at the end of 2016. Matt, 
a little as long. much fun as this was, yes. I noticed that my favorite Godzilla is missing from this collection. Which is this guy! Yeah. Ah, you forgot about this guy! Well, it's this it's it's the baby from the <laughs> 1998 movie, but yeah. Like Never which, forget Fox never forget Kids that Wooly was always in the show, slightly <laughs> off to the right. Of Matthew Broderick there. Yeah, yeah, that's my boy up there. <laughs> that's, that's my boy. That's my boy. I see you. I see you. There he is. There he is. Yeah, Godzilla the series. Give it a pass. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs>